Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharon, and I have a, a few projects here I wanted to share with you guys. Um, these are inspired by several different crafters on YouTube, so I'll leave a link in the description bar for everybody's inspiration um, for where I created these. But I wanted to try to use my sewing machine. I've had my sewing machine for years, and I just hardly ever use it and I wanted to try to use it some and I had been to um, Tuesday mornings also and have found a lot of the sequins and the little tins and I have a bunch of those so I wanted to use my sewing machine and my sequins so I thought I would do some of these acetate folders um, I think this is called an acetate embellishment book um, this is an acetate tin and then I did some tool with this, it's a tag, and then I did a little uh, wallet, acetate wallet. So we'll go ahead and get started with um, this tin first, because this is my favorite um, project that I did. And I thought it turned out so cute. I used a die, um, I don't have it in front of me right now, but if you guys are interested, just let me know and I'll post a link to it in the description bar below. But it's a die I picked up at Hobby Lobby to make this part of the TN. And then I did some of my stitching around the edge. I just have some pink thread going around the edge right there. And then I used some of my sequins in here. Hope you guys can see them. It's really pretty um, sequins. It's all different colors that go with the uh, Carousel Collection by Maggie, Maggie Holmes. That's the paper collection that I used. And it has little stars. I hope you guys can see it. I'm trying to get the glare off. It has stars. It has half moons. Um, some little hearts. Um, all kind of things in here. So anyway, I thought the sequin mix was so pretty. And this right here is a little pink and main bow. And then I did another one of the little Christmas balls that they had at Hobby Lobby. I just glued it there. This is from the paper collection, and then I have some pink elastic that goes with the paper collection. Really pretty. And then um, I did this little dangle here, and this was inspired by Scrap Diva 29 Erica. And I have um, some more of these kind of over here to the side, so I'll be sharing these with you guys in just a few minutes. But um, she had inspired me to make some of these, and she had um, left, I think she left. Um, the tutorial on her channel but if not I'll leave a tutorial where I followed the girl that did this and it's super simple so anyway I did this um, little charm here or tassel I used some of these really pretty pink beads and a silver bead and a clear bead and then I used some of this uh, I'm not sure what you call this but um, I used that I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and then I did some of this tape around here in silver then I made this little pom-pom with my pom-pom maker and just put them up here. I put them in this little thing right here and put them there. And then I picked up this little pen right here and it came from Tuesday morning. And this is the, it came in this pack and it just says planner. And it writes this color and it writes pink. So I thought it was really cute to go with this and you could use either color in this this planner or this TN. I thought it would be pretty. Anyway, I did the pink one. It has like a little cat face. I hope you guys can see that. It's so cute. And then I did some of these little purse um, paper clips. And I do have a tutorial on how I do those. I'll link that in the description bar below as well. And then this is the way the back looks. You can just see the pretty sequins. The sequin mix there. Really pretty. And so you just slide this around right here and you open it up and there's the pretty sequins again. I just love them. I think they're so pretty and sparkly. Then I did this for the paper collection for the first um, little notebook that I have here. And then there is the little um, purse. I thought they were so cute. And like I said, I do have a tutorial out of how to create this, how to put the little um, round piece here and the, the punch and everything that I used and the little piece right here. And then I used this right here for my second notebook. It's really pretty and it's got like um, a glitter look to that. 
And then I have another one right here that came from the paper collection. And then one more. And then this is the other little um, paper clip. And I'll let you look at both of them together because they're a little different. So you can see the difference in them. Really cute. And then I have my little pen holder here. And that die does come with a pen holder and it also comes with the inside pages. But I used, I just made it up as I went and just kind of did it for myself. I didn't use another die for the inside part. And then for the back, I have a little pocket down here and I just have some more of these little um, purse paper clips stuck down in there. I thought that was so cute. I just love these. I think they're so adorable. And then I just have that one stuck to that. And then I have some more that I just stuck down in this pocket if I want to make any more. And then I just have a piece from the paper collection that goes there. So I thought those turn out so cute. So, um, so that's the first project. And then over. And then for the second one, I thought this was so cute. This is an embellishment book. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it's made out of the acetate as well. It has a shaker um, on the inside there with a pretty glitter. And there's the way the back of it looks. And then these are just some of the um, string that I use to adhere my envelopes together. I have another um, beautiful tassel right there. It has like a greenish uh, little bead there. And then this pink one has some crackle in it. It's really pretty. And then this one has like a clear bead here. And then I use some green that will kind of go with this paper right here. And I can't remember what little girl that is. If you're interested, just let me know and I can look that up. But I color her in my Copic markers. And then I did some stickles on her hair there. And on the little saddle there. And on her necklace. And then in the back, I laid some of this pretty uh, pink cardstock I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And it's really pretty and um, sparkly as well. And you can shape this one as well. I did another pretty uh, pom pom right here. So cute. I think these are just so cute. And um, there's a pretty uh, sequin mix in there that I used. And then I have my little five envelopes here. And for the first one, I just put some bows in there. And those are just some bows I made on my, um, I can't even think of it. It's not the bow dabber, but the other one. And I haven't put any of the embellishments in here yet, but I was just, I'll show you how that looked. And this paper collection I used is from Michaels on this one right here. Let's see. If I see it, I will let you know what it is. It's this one right here. It's called Uptown Chic. And I picked that up at Michaels has been a long time ago and it has a lot of pretty paper in it. The same colors as the, the carousel does with Maggie Holmes. So I thought that turned out really pretty. I did the same thing with the pink uh, stitching around, all the way around. And so that's my other project. And then I did um, this little wallet. I used the carousel collection here. This is just some um, little uh, balloon and a kite right here that I just cut out from the paper collection. This right here is um, from the, oh goodness, I can't even think, chipboard uh, paper, it's the stars and this, and these are some just pieces I cut out from the paper collection. And then I layered a whole cracked paper uh, folded up behind here in the back and just stitched it, but pretty much covered all that up. I didn't want to do a whole lot because I wanted you to be able to see the pretty sequins in there. And then I just use some acetate to close that. And I have some little flowers in here from um, Heartfelt Creations that I created. And so those just slide back in there. And that closes the pack. And that's the way the back of it looks. Really pretty shaker. I love the colors on that. So pretty. 
that's my next little project and then I have one more thing I wanted to share with you guys um these right here let me zoom back in so you can see these a little bit better so these were like I said these were inspired by Scrap Diva 29 and I thought they turned out so pretty these are just some um, I think it's called crochet thread. I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. I used some more tape right here and some more pretty beads to use this one with. And then I have a purple one as well. Really pretty. And I, like I said, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby as well. Use these pretty beads here. And then I have this one. This is kind of like in a teal color. Really pretty. My granddaughter got one, so I won't be able to share it with you guys, but it was pink. It was beautiful. There's that one. And I did a blue one. It's basically the same thing. I just thought they turned out so cute. And you can hang these on your traveler's notebooks or just whatever. How you want to put them on so that's what I wanted to share with you guys oh I got one more thing um, it's just a little tag and I made it with some tool and did some of the um, shaker in the back right there I colored this little image in with my Copic markers and I put a little bow here and I have this pretty ribbon and gold here and then I just had some of this uh, this bow here. I can't even think of what the name of this is. My mind is gone for today. <laughs> and then I did some more stitching in the pink around that. And I just put some white 110 pound cardstock on the back of that. So I thought that turned out really pretty as well. So I hope you guys like my little project, especially this. I think it's so cute. I love the way that turned out. And I'm going to probably be making some more of those with some different paper collections and using some of my little tassels on there so I thought that would be so pretty I hope you like my little purse uh, paper clips and like I said I will leave a link in the description bar for the um, tutorial on how I made these so I hope you guys have a great day and um, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later bye bye